You're going to begin by going to the SPS Newman Library site, which you should have access to from an email at the beginning of the term. You want to click on Databases, A through Z, and then select the ST3T tab so you can find Social Explorer. Click on Social Explorer, and here you want to enter your credentials, which again you should have received from the help desk at the beginning of the term. You're going to log in and you will land into Social Explorer professional version. You want professional because professional gives you access to both the 2000 data as well as the 2010. Once you're here, you could, if you wanted, take a tour and explore the site in different ways, but what you want to work with is maps and tables and start here. Once you're in the map, in the search bar you can enter the neighborhood or um, the city or county that you're working with. Here I'm going to enter Lowell, Massachusetts, and I'm going to click on it, and it zooms me into Lowell. I know that the boundaries of Lowell are right around here. Now I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. If I select Show Data By, I will get a drop-down that allows me to get into more details. So if I were to have it selected as state, the boundaries would be set to the state and it would be one mass of color. County brings it a little bit smaller, as does Census Place, Tracts. Census Block Group gives us the smallest amount of detail that we can then see a lot more complexity with the data. So. If you go over to the left navigation pane, here is where you can toggle the different variables that the census data provides us. If you are, for instance, interested in education, you could look at education, um, labor force, all of these different categories. Um, I'm going to look at race here temporarily, and I know that there's been a notable change maybe in the Asian population of Lowell, so I will look at Asian alone, and here you can see how the concentration of Asian population is dispersed around Lowell, Massachusetts by using the legend here to the left. Once I like my map, if this is what I like, um, I can then export the map. However, um, if I wanted to modify the map, I could change the color, for instance, um, so that it matches the infographic that you're going to create. Maybe I want to work with blue, and so forth. Um, once you're ready to export, and this is what you're looking at is the Census 2010 map, you're going to click on the export button. I'll leave it there in image, current map size, or you could change the size. I'm going to leave it as, and then prepare for download. Click download, and here you have access to the map. I'm going to save it underscore Lowell MA. Here you can select the type of image, but it has it defaulted as PNG. Now if I want to work in PowerPoint, I have an open slide and I can select here to add an image file and I can go to my favorite desktop and I have my Lowell census map and there's one of my maps it comes in with the legend which is great it helps us understand what we are looking at and I can shrink it and then going back to Social Explorer remember that you're comparing between 2000 and 2010 and this is where you can make that change once I'm done with 2010 I can move my arrow to the 2000 pop census population data and then do the same, Asian alone, and this time I maybe want to do it orange, um, and we see again the same dispersion of the population concentrated in different ways. If this is the map that I like, I'm looking at census block group, I'm going to export, prepare for download, download, and then again save. Here I can close this up, insert, picture, go to favorites, desktop, and here
here's my orange Lowell map. And I can shrink it down. You can make sure that the maps are the same size by looking at the format tab. So you can see here that the height is 4.22. Click on this one, the height is 4.22. Um, if you're working within PowerPoint and you want to make changes to it here, you can then change the layout, of, well, the size of the slide so that it can be that which you're looking to by going to Design, Page Setup, and then changing the width and the height. So I want to change this to Portrait, and I want to make it a lot longer. Let's make this at least 17 inches by um, 10 inches, which is just an arbitrary size that I selected right now. And it did that to my maps, but I can bring them back down to their original size. And this is how you can change your infographic to be a little bit more tailored to what you want it to look like. And again, to have clean appearance, you want to make sure that you have like you're working with the same size here. I should just go up here and make the height the same. 3.5 centers and 3.5. And then just kind of play around, line them up so that they're at the same spot. Um, and then you want to add some charts around here. Um, charts that, again, you would drop in as images, or you can copy and paste directly from Excel. If you're using something other than PowerPoint, let me know if you have um, any sort of difficulty making a layout of the map. But this is basically how you want to use Social Explorer to include maps into your infographic. Um, remember, save your work always. Um, and reach out if you have any questions through Q&A. And I'll look to try to help you as best as I can.